this is a liberal outline of what you could do. If you want to be healthy and you don't have any major medical issues, this, this will work for you very, very well. And it tells you what you leave out. You might say, gee, why do I have to leave out alcohol? I like to drink. Uh, you, know what, you know, why can't I have a glass of wine? People in France eat wine and they're very, very healthy. Well, it's not that simple an issue. Um, cocoa, you know, like uh, everybody's now out there, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're eating chocolate. They're told, they're, they're told that chocolate is a, a very powerful antioxidant. Now, I'm not going to tell you chocolate's poison. If you want to have a little piece of chocolate and you're healthy, go ahead and have it. But make, try to get raw chocolate and try to avoid dairy products. One of the worst things you can incorporate into your system is dairy products today. Dr. Roy Ellis, about 35 years ago in the University of Texas, proved how dangerous dairy products are. They're a factor in ovarian cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, all kinds of problems. Too many growth hormones, too many bovine growth hormones if they, the farmer uses them. Um, and if somebody, somebody has breast cancer, estrogen positive is looking for trouble if they eat dairy products because it raises human estrogen. It's not like a cow. It's too much. There's too much in it for, 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 for the human chemistry. So you leave out there. I tell everybody to leave out dairy products. Even organic. Huh? Organic. Yeah, even organic. That does, in certain instances, organic doesn't really change the initial impact of the chemistry. Of course, if you're eating something, it's much better to eat organic. But something's a rank poison because it's organic. It's not good for you.